Hi guys, welcome to Gyan Vigyan Foundation's IR Academy and you are watching my YouTube channel Gyan Vigyan Foundation. So guys, today in this video, we shall try to understand one another subtopic in physics that is about the principle of superposition of wave. In this case, the waves do not display any repulsion towards each other. Therefore, the two wave patterns can overlap in the same area of the space without affecting each other. When these two waves overlap, their displacement add vectorially and this additive rule is called as the principle of superposition of sound waves. Hence, the resultant displacement at a particular point is equal to the vector sum of the displacements due to all the waves. Now friends, let us try to understand about the term echo in sound. An echo is the repetition of the original sound because of the reflection from some rigid surface at a distance from the source of sound. For example, if we shout in a hilly region, we are likely to hear the echo. At 22 degree Celsius, the velocity of sound in air is 344 meter per second. Our brain retains sound for 0.1 second. Thus, for us to hear a distinct echo, the sound should take more than 0.1 seconds after starting from the source to get reflected and come back to us. So friends, this was about echo. Now let us try to understand the solved example of echo. A man shouts loudly close to a high wall and hears an echo. If the man is at 40 meter from the wall, how long after the shout will the echo be heard? The speed of sound in air is given which is equal to 330 meters per second. Now the solution is something like this. So friends, let us try to solve this problem. The distance traveled by the sound wave is equal to 2 into distance from man to wall, which is equal to 2 into 40 and that will be equal to 80 meter. Therefore, the time taken to travel the distance is given by the formula which is equal to distance divided by speed and let that be equal to x. Therefore, the value of x will be equal to 80 divided by 330 which is meters per second. Now, in this way, we can calculate the time taken to travel the distance which is equal to 0 0.245 seconds. Therefore, the man will hear the echo in 0.24 seconds after he shouts. So this is about the solved example of echo. Now friends, let us try to understand about the next term that is reverberation. So here in this case, if the reflecting surface is nearer than 15 meter from the source of sound, then 
the echo joins up with the original sound which then seems to be prolonged the sound waves get reflected multiple times from the walls and roof of a closed room which are nearer than 15 meter thus causing a single sound to be heard not just for one time but for several times continuously is called as reverberation the reverberation characteristics are very important in the design of theaters and concert halls etc so friends this was about reverberation and now let us try to understand about the next term that is acoustics it is the branch of physics which deals with the study of production transmission and reception of sound this is useful during the construction of theaters and auditorium while designing an auditorium proper care is taken for the absorption and reflection of sound or else the audience will not be able to hear the sound very clearly so guys by now you might have understood my sub topic in physics and if you have understood my sub topic in physics then please like comment and subscribe my channel